one way to extend beyond AppSheet's standard functionality is to use uh, SQL database triggers or functions um, to your advantage to help you solve business problems. So I've got a quick demo here to show you how those work. So one thing that's difficult in AppSheet is to create dozens or hundreds or thousands of records simultaneously based on uh, either calculated values or like a comma separated list of values. So that's a, a situation where you can easily use a database trigger to help provide that functionality. So I've got this batch menu right here. Uh, so this is like, imagine you're intaking a batch of items and you're trying to create an inventory record for each one of those items. So sometimes uh, when you get large shipments of things, they are in sequential um, SKU order. So I'm just gonna put the name of this batch and I'm gonna say tracking unit. And this is going to the demo warehouse, grab a manufacturer, and I'm gonna say that these are sequential serials. Um, so I've got a leading serial number and a trailing serial number component. And let's just say I wanna add 100 meters. Um, so I wanna increment this 100 times. Now, on the back end of the database, I have a trigger that when this fires, it is going to run this operation. So I have the trigger set to after insert and it is going to, you know, going to set a few variables here, the number of meters and then the start and end of the serial number. And basically while we're, uh, while we still have numbers to increment through um, for our count of meters, do this operation, which is insert into the meter table, these fields and values. So, basically take this records, receive date, warranty date, et cetera, and fill them in uh, for every uh, number in between zero and the number of um, sequential serial numbers that they have requested. Now you can see this table is empty. We have no meters in our database. Going back to our other app here, we're going to add 100 meters. And there we are we have 100 meters. So we saw that uh, even though AppSheet is an offline first platform, we saw that these within a couple of seconds had generated 100 and had communicated back to AppSheet server uh, automatically. Uh, there's no logic or anything I had to write to do that, but AppSheet must have recognized that the trigger was happening and kind of held on the connection until that was finished so it could quickly return that information. So almost instantaneously, I have 100 new records inside my app. Database triggers, stored procedures, and views can all be used very creatively to add uh, value and add extensibility uh, and functionality to your AppSheet applications. They can work really, really well together. So very curious to see if you've tried anything like this and how it's worked out for you. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.